Welcome to my tutorial on printing or plotting in AutoCAD. I have open here a car drawing, uh, some people walking past it, and I'd like to print it out. Typically people do work in model space, everything drawn at its correct size, and for printing we go through to the layout spaces or paper spaces, where the drawing is then scaled down to a specific size to fit onto your chosen size sheet of paper. To begin with here, I'm going to go through to layout 1 and what you'll find is the first time that you go onto these paper space layouts is that by default you're given an A4 sheet of paper. It has this viewport which has been cut through it and you're able to see through to the model which is behind. If I double click into that, into the viewport you can see I can pan around and also zoom around to position my drawing. Double clicking outside fixes that in position. What I'm going to do is take you through the steps that you'll need to follow in order to set up a paper space sheet. First thing I'm going to do is delete this viewport which comes as standard. I'm going to click on the uh, plot icon here which takes you through to the printing setup. These are the steps that you follow choose a printer first of all. In this case I'm going to use the PDF writer. Paper size I'm going to choose an A1. I do like these full bleed sizes reduces the margins. The plot area at the moment we're busy setting out the layout so nothing needs to change over here. The plot style table I'm going to set that to monochrome. If you're unsure what the penwayed assignments are or plot style tables, please have a look at my video on layers and specifically the one relating to colors. The plot scale remains at 1 to 1 and by clicking apply to layout it saves those settings. At this point I can close out of this. You'll see that my A4 has become an A1. I'm also going to set up a new layer here for my viewports. It's always very useful to have your viewports on their own separate layer. Main reason being you can choose to make them non-printable. If I go through to layout, if you're on the classic setting, you could simply go to view and viewports and choose a viewport from here. On the ribbon layout, go up to layout, we have layout viewports. I'm going to choose a rectangular viewport and cut that from top left to bottom right. I can then double click inside, zoom in and out, and set my scale from this viewport scale menu which has appeared at the bottom here. 1 to 100, that's quite small. 1 to 50, 1 to 10, 1 to 5 looks perfect for that A1 sheet. Double click out. That now is ready for printing. If I click on the plotter icon, I'll run a preview on the bottom left that's what will run off on the printer. Escape by clicking OK it'll send it to print. Now, Something else which is also really useful to have is a title block and I'm going to bring one in here just as an example I'm just going to drop this in on layer 0 insert the block and browse These title blocks you'll need to have set up either by yourself or by your employer. I'm going to go for this A1 generic. There it comes. Now you can see my insertion point is at the bottom left hand side of the block. I'd like to place it perfectly at the bottom left hand side of this sheet. That bottom left hand corner is the origin of paper space which is 0 on the X, Y and Z. So for insertion I type 0, comma 0, comma 0 and enter keep hitting enter there and you can see the title block fills itself in with default values. And at 
this point I can reset my viewport layer and draw for myself another viewport. Double click in and it will scale 1 to 10 which I wanted. Try 1 to 5 actually, that was the one. Double click out and that's done, that's ready for printing. Click on print again, preview that and that's ready to go. So I hope that's been useful as a basic introduction to printing or plotting in AutoCAD.